from there we got the drums and the strings. Um, we layered in a uh, piano just doing the same chords as the string, mm -hmm. just to um, develop the track. Um, on this particular one, we, we're using a piano and then the chord is reversed into itself again here. So you've got the piano playing the chord and then at the end it reverses. This gives it kind of a nice swell. Mm. So that comes in after 16 bars and then we've done like a little transition effects with the piano. So it's, we've bounced one of the chords um, and put some effect on it, some modulation, maybe a bit of reverb and then reversed it, um, just to kind of help with the transition mm. into the next section. We do that quite a lot really, don't we? Like yeah. It adds a, a nice kind of suck into a new section. Yeah, and rather than kind of picking like a stock effects yeah. or reverse, something like that, we kind of try and use what we've already got in there and just change the texture of it a little bit. So that um, plays into the next section. We've got another piano coming in. Come on. And some lower chords, which I think are the same again, but they're just lower register. Right? Yeah, just a yeah. slightly different voicing. Yeah. Um, just gives it a bit more kind of body. Again, that side chaining. Mm. You hear that pump, yeah. So again, it's still just the two chords. And we're just 